Morning, everybody. Evil Dave here, Magic the Gathering Attitude. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And I wish I could say the same. However, comma, I ordered two collector boxes of Lord of the Rings. Uh, Lord of the Rings. And I got it at a, a decent price. Uh, it wasn't quite pre-sale. They were at like... 340 350 a box at the time and obviously the price has jumped up to about 470 to 475 per box so after shipping and tax and all that good stuff you're looking at 500 dollars. so what i did is i did not buy anything last month saved up all my doggies and i purchased two boxes i found a deal for 330 dollars which was about 20 dollars under the the normal rate and i'm like wow it's a great deal Glad I hopped on this. And it said it wouldn't be delivered until June 23rd, which is fine because that's when the actual release was. Pre-release was the week prior. I get it. You have to wait for your product to get in, et cetera, et cetera. Not only did the product not come in, there was no correspondence. And I tried, before I tried to ding anybody on eBay or TCG, I tried to you know work with the seller first because he did sell a lot of them. And he had a 100% rating prior to doing this. And his name is Ace. A-C-E-F-R-55. Leave it to F-R. I'll, I'll have it up. I'll have Editor J. Bling, put it right up there. And, uh, yeah. It, it, it. But he did not... Not only did he not correspond back to me, he just... Like, I started reading reviews of people that did not get their stuff either. And it was about 30 of us, the last I counted. It might be more by now, I'm not sure. But this person deprived all of us because not only did we not get our product, now we have to pay an additional $150 at a minimum to actually buy a box. And that means I can only buy one box now. So, it, it, whereas I, I would have forked over an additional $40 to get two boxes with the surety of doing so. But that's not what real. I mean, it asses me up, but it's this type of person that gives eBay a bad name. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit eBay here a little bit too. It's easy to fudge your name. You know, because basically, this guy's credibility is ruined. He's not going to be able to sell anything else. And be, before I rip on eBay here, he is probably going to keep all that product. The money will be returned. He won't keep it. But he's going to sell all that product at a handsome price. What is really discouraging, though, is that 9 out of 10 times that you buy a product from Wizards of the Coast, the price dips. There after the sale. So let's reverse the scenario. Let's say uh, I bought two box, two collector boxes, and the price went down $150 per box, which doesn't go down that much, but it goes down considerably. What am I going to say? Product not as advertised, and return the product. Hey, you know what? I overpaid for this, basically, without saying I overpaid, and I want my money back because I could buy it at a cheaper price. eBay's gonna tell you to go kick rocks. You know what, maybe eBay should take the same stance on that with these types of sellers. Now, can this seller change his name, change his credit card information? Sure, uh, you know, even change his mailing address. That might, that's a, little, that's a little harder to do. But you know what, take a little time and money, and eBay is a billion, multi-billion dollar corporation and invest that in sanctioning against people like this. Yes, he, he scammed us once. That's great. He scammed us once, he got away with it once. Make sure he, he or she does not do it again. Okay, and you know, it's it's that's that type of stuff with eBay kind of asks me up a little bit because, you know, we're trusting in their, their product, their, actually more their service than anything else and when they do something like that it takes the credibility away from them so what I am personally going to do 
is other than NC Jam Packs, because I, I can only go through eBay to buy them, I'm not buying anything from eBay. That's just my stance on it. And we're a very small channel and a very small niche of YouTube. I almost never ask this. I am not gonna have this video monetized because I want everybody to share this across the YouTube world as much as humanly possible. Not because I want them to boycott eBay, but at a minimum, tell this ace guy he's a piece of garbage. And he is too. I can't threaten him. Or, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like go to jail over over this guy. Like it, it's it's a few hundred bucks that he that he ripped off in the end. But you know what? There are times in my life where tack goes out the window, and worry face to face, I might say something like this: "Fuck you." Your mother's fat. We're fighting. And it, it just goes up my fanny sideways that there are people out there that do this sort of thing. Because this world will, not can, will take everything away from you. But at the end of the day, all you have in this world really is your integrity, your word. No one can take that away. You can only give that away. And shame on eBay. They should have the integrity to go, hey, you know what? Yes, you're taking a, we, we realize you're taking a loss here. Let us do something for you. Let me give you an example. Mark Reed, one of our channel's patrons, uh, he received some product from us that, that he bought. He bought into a box break, and some of it was damaged. And like right away, I'm like, yep, no questions asked. I'm like, Mark, let me make that up to you. I sent him a lightly played unlimited card, which was way more, worth way more than what he paid into. There was another guy by the name of Pat Johns. He kind of got a little tweaked on something, and I don't blame him for it. I'm not going to get into the particulars of it. However, without questioning him, I went into my personal stash, and I made it right. I gave him way more than he paid for it. Because we stand by our word here. I'm not a billionaire. I'm not a millionaire. I'm not even a hundred thousand here. I'm a thousand here. Okay? When I purchase these products, believe me, I rip some apart. You guys have seen my vids. And I save a lot of it at, from a collector standpoint. I do a lot with it. I personally have a hundred percent rating. I'll put my username, eBay username, in the comments. You guys can see, boom, 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 money there, money there, money there, money there. I'm never going to ask eBay to give me my money back because I got screwed on a product that went down in value. But don't you dare think for one second, eBay, that the reverse isn't true and that we don't notice stuff like that. You need to do a better job of finding these types of people and making sure that they never, ever come back. Because in the end, that's just going to hurt your product the most. And once more, it's really not going to matter in the end. I just want our fans to know that this guy is a piece of crap and eBay's probably going to do nothing about it. Because they can. But actually they can. They just choose not to. Anyway, anyway guys, I just wanted to give you the heads up. Uh, and I am driving. I don't normally do these types of videos. But... I'm on the highway. I'm, I'm doing pretty safe right now. So, uh, and I'm looking at the road. I'm not looking at the camera. So anyway, guys, listen, I, I love you very much. And I, I, I'm a huge community guy. Editor Jay and Mr. Guy, we have the utmost integrity. We know the people that watch us have the utmost integrity. Minus a few that we've kind of booted out on our own. But behind the scenes. Stuff that you guys don't see. But we, but we see everything. We do. And uh, we really do appreciate the 99.9% .9 that do the right thing and the 99% that watch us because they enjoy our content, because we enjoy the correspondence back and forth with you, all that stuff. So I have nothing but most respect and love for you guys. Watch out for this. Seller. Don't buy from the seller, period. And be 
very wary about buying an eBay. If not, don't buy from them at all. Deuces. <laughs>